Hello everyone and welcome back to Risk of Rain. Today I was actually supposed to do another 100 item thing, but uh, I, I don't have the time, you know. 100 item thing takes about 2 hours, sometimes a little longer, even though you know, the video is like 30 minutes each, it still takes longer to set everything up and stuff, so they take about a little bit more than 2 hours. And I don't have a little more than 2 hours right now, I have about 1 hour and 30 minutes, so I'm just gonna get straight into it. Uh, I actually don't know who I wanna play though, so I'm gonna think that out while I explain what I've done. So I have my 3 normal ones, right? Now I have my only elite spawns, I don't know, I wanna try that. It feels like it could be really hard, but also really easy once you stack the green equipment. And, um... I get random equipment and also, also gain items. I think that's gonna be a real pain in the ass, to be honest. Um, should I just go engineer? I don't go in that often. Nah, you know what? I'm just gonna go artificial. Oh, I got a lightning on now. It's my equipment. That does not look alright. That, that doesn't look alright. I, I, I don't like it for some reason. I just thought, oh damn, elites right off the bat, and then I realized that I would only be fighting elites. I don't want that equipment. I got it again, are you serious? <laughs> Is there only like one stage? It's not always once a stage, right? Is that the one? No. Yeah, uh. Every time it's activated, right? So yeah, it, it, I just got unlucky. Bro, quit dodging and weaving. I uploaded some. Oh, it's okay now. I oh yeah, because I used to again. Okay, I am. I'm sorry, guys. I just woken up. I haven't uploaded in a little bit because I've been completely stuck on V Rising for literally over 18 hours. Oh no! Already, boy. Bro, get, get out of it. Yeah. That was actually a lot more simple than I thought it would be. Ice coming clutch. Yeah, I've been playing that for like 18 hours now. And, uh... Where am I going with this? I just have a moment now where I'm stuck in that game, so uh... I might actually start. Should I record that? Should I start recording some uh, V Rising? Do you guys actually like to watch that? It's quite a small game, but it's about a vampire, it's a lot of grinding resources, killing bosses. That's basically the game. Get me- uh, I'm dead, I'm already dead, I'm dead. I'm dead. Alright, I'm gonna go with other fish again. I'm just gonna say that I was very unlucky there with the way of running into one of their abilities. Clueless that it was even there, to be honest. Really? Then you know. Eat my eyes. That did really not hit the tree, in my opinion. Yeah, that's the thing that calls in like a healing thing, isn't it? Bro, I am like still sleeping, I haven't woken up. I'm just letting myself be getting hit by that. Actually, I'm gonna call the wind, but... We can please arrive. Yeah, and then you just pay a little bit, right? Yeah, five dollars. I got a link machine. Why is this so hard? Is 
It seems like uh, the vending machine thing now actually tracks you before it didn't. And sometimes it was actually quite struggling to get your equipment. Or your equipment, your healing. But now it's like target locking you. Bro, how many? Why are they only wisps? What the hell? Game? Hello? Am I, am I done already? Bro, 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 this game is literal hell right now. I haven't played for the... For, for like a few days, hello? Did all my skill just go to shit like that? Why did I not go healing? Well, I technically have this, I guess I don't need it. Wisps again! Quit giving me wisps! I don't want your wisp! Is the vending machine out? I didn't know it could actually run out. Oh, what the hell? I'm just gonna throw that out there. My aim is not as the greatest at the moment. I am struggling, guys. Oh, the gin and tonic one. Yeah, I might actually not use an ultimate again. Because that is such a gamble. Like, unless I find one laying around and I physically select one. The thing about the gin and tonic is it boosts your stats, but it says chance that when those stats run out, you gain all the negative ones. Like, you gain the exact same stat, but negative instead. So like, oh, bonus health, although you get less health permanently until you activate it again. It's such a gamble. I thought elites would be kinda easy. It, it, it's not easy. I'm like, oh, elites, just stack the green one. Yeah, I need to get the green one. I'm not getting the green ones. Why am I not getting the greens? This is just chaotic, and I can't aim today. Like, at all. That was oddly satisfying to just deploy one wall and instantly kill that many. I actually got a green, that's very nice. This would have been hell of a lot easier if I just did that from the start. And I'm like, nah, more damage. More damage equals more safety. For me, that is. Not for them. Alright, where's this portal at? Not around me is the answer. Oh, but I'm one of those. Probably really dumb to activate, seeing it's only elites. Hello, like, here we go. I want that. Bro, I killed one, two more I heard. I got a legendary, that's... Wow. Thank you, game. I'm thinking of this one. I'm just gonna go to that one. I'm gonna have a good Shattering Justice, but on a character like this... I'm not high DPS. Except with the fire on kill things, that is.
point can I aim? The answer is no, I cannot. Healing drone, hello? Did you heal me? Buddy? Buddy? Thank you. Boy is sleeping just like me. That is so useless, because... What would actually happen? What I think would happen is just... Is it charging like a second charge beneath? Can I use the same equipment twice? Or will just... The next equipment that I get... Be fully charged already, that's probably what's gonna happen. Having I use this one, I will get another one that is instantly ready. Yeah, pretty much. It's already okay. You are you are a elite, okay. Get me out, okay. So I used the gym and funny guys. I hope it won't be my biggest downfall. Okay, that wasn't good. Why am I getting all the battles? Like I'm getting all the lunar ultimates, which is. This is not even a gamble, this one is just bad. Sure, it burns my enemies, but it's gonna burn me just as much, so... Bro, leave me alone. Maybe this will actually get easier now, once I get these screens going. Because what happens is I just instantly kill elites once they reach a certain health. Like that is pretty OP. Although I should go some fire damage I feel. That's not where I meant to go, but that works. Quit hitting him. Oh boy, it literally went I saved you Miss I saved you Mr. President style. I haven't even started judging the portal yet. Let's see, trying not to die. This could actually work now because if I take the panu leg, when I burn myself I'm a heal instead. Like this could actually work. I need some other stuff than just uh, specifically uh, the elite insta kill thing. Actually, it's the name that I keep forgetting. Old. Is it Gully Town? I'm not how you pronounce that, and I'm not gonna try again. Now one is just insta kill elite equipment. I feel like I'm finally actually getting a grip of this game. Um, now when I said that, hell is probably gonna break loose. But um, that legendary really can be clutched. This item I just got. 
during the boss fight also really came in clutch. I feel like now I just... I'm, I'm loaded. spawn behind me, those fools. Sounds a little speed. I'm very, very slow. Get up. Yeah. Can I maybe? Sp yeah, I'd be spotted from up there. Oh yeah. are just dying 24 7. Oh boy. Why do I have to get you of all? Alright, uh, because I have the increased fire damage, this just kills me instead. Can this actually kill me? Is the question. It cannot. Good. Oh boy, this was a fucking mistake to take this item. Or activate that item. Oh my god. I would love some grayscape. If I can get that slug thing. Okay, my, my drone kinda got that loaded. I was like, oh, I'm actually gonna out heal that, but I didn't think of that your equipment actually matters. That is really not the slug. Why am I taking so many wrong things today? That's the slug. Yeah, I completely forgot that because I have uh, extra fire damage equipment. I actually then deal more fire damage to myself with that thing. Uh, oh, have they just healed that thing all the way back up from the damage that I dealt? I gotta kill healers first, that is for sure. Holy hell. You just gone. Adios, finito. Can I... can I jump? Hello? Oh, now I get another ultimate. Did me killing that thing actually drop a gold? Huh? I'm gonna go to fighting now. I know I'm going more defense right now than actual like damage dealing stuff, but I feel like that's kind of what I need right now. I don't want to be caught in my pants down again like that. That was uh, not very nice. Oh yeah, we're right though, about the hell breaking loose. Only because I said I gotta control over the scheme right now. But I feel like I do again. I regain control now. It's like, fuck you game. What are you gonna do about it? Not much by the look of it. Wait, but does that mean the final boss will be an elite as well? Because I don't know if that thing actually can become an elite, but maybe because this item it can. And then what elite would it go for? Would it go for the same? Or will one be like a shield level, the other one is fire, like the Beta Queen? Imagine one being a healer. Like imagine both of them being anti healers or some bullshit like that. One is just an anti-healer and one is uh, the cloaking one. So one just have an insane amount of health and the other one just deal the insane amount of damage.
that would be pretty much game over for me. I, I don't know if I could actually possibly get ready for that. Oh, I wonder if I equip it in the drone. Would it use same? Bro is actually like in the matrix. He's dodging my stuff. Like his life depends on it, which is actually does. But yeah. I wonder if the equipment drone would use the same equipment that it was fed, or if it actually will change for that one too. And the chain reaction has begun with a massive massacre. that 100 item thing uh, I wonder will what 100 item is it's like yeah, spoilers guys gonna have to wait I don't know when I release it probably in like one or two days uh, yeah probably one to two days that that feels like one to two days probably no promises because uh, well uh -huh. My life can go from having literally nothing to do to having more than I can handle. So, uh, no promises, but probably one to two days. Also, yes, this is a piece of cake now. I'm finally getting these old uh, thingies inside elite kill ones. So, uh, that is gonna be a piece of cake. They are gaining equipment though, and I'm a little scared of that. I kind of forgot that they do that. Now I know they do that. I'm just scared of that. Because if they gain, like, can they gain a legendary? Like, that that would be insane. Oh, they all start gaining, like, the watches. They do still an insane amount of damage. Even the crow boss would be a bad thing. Even though it's only on. Uh, when I'm max health, it still could deal a lot of damage to first hit. I'm going some watches because I want to increase the damage on my knives. Right now there's 75, that's kind of insane. I do 91. Alright, I think that's enough damage for them for now at least. Now I kind of feel the need that I have to go 5, just because I have 4. Oh yeah, about Risk of Rain Returns, I did say I might come back to that, might not. I don't think I will, for the pure reason that the maps are too big. It takes so long to try to find that damn portal, and I don't have that patience. So I don't think I will be doing any more of that at all. I hate to disappoint for people that might have been very excited about the Amanthidum, because I won't, I'm sorry. Maps are just way too big. Did they, they sh those were elites. Okay, so the boss will probably be an elite them. The day they um, shrink the map is the day I probably come back. This is not have infinite range. Why well, did every person except the Huntress with her aimbot had infinite range? Now it feels like only the Void Fiend has infinite range and possibly the Sniper. Like the real gunner person. Because like, everybody else just don't. I just kill him off the half his health is gone. It's insane. You're gonna have to 
gonna spawn on me and I'm gonna go up. I don't know what you can do now. Spawning other things is really dumbest thing you can do. You want to only be bosses against me. Because the second I kill something else, you're fucked. Basically, you're just fucked. I really wonder how easy the boss is going to be now, because these enemies just, they just, like, they don't stand a chance, they, the insta-kill elite things are so broken, on the level that I might have to do this again without those, like I just, I just don't go them, and then kind of see what happens from there. So dumb if something spawns on top of me and just instantly it kills me. Oh, no, no, uh -huh. oh my god, I don't play. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of ice rings. these knives probably gonna one shot these things or not because they attack different targets lovely there we go bro someone could kiss that little lizard guy a little too aggressively and he would have died that was the definition of one health if the wind blew a little too hard he would trip and die Imagine dying by tripping, like because of the wind, in this game. Imagine if you could actually trip, like, I kind of want an enemy now that just blows wind at you and you can trip a fall. <laughs> it would be jokes. I probably rage a lot over it, but like, down to the core, that would just be jokes. Not because air can be insanely dangerous, IRL, because it really can, like tornadoes and stuff are no fun, but I still feel like it would be jokes. Like the thing just like literally blew air out of his lungs and killed you that way. And you specifically had to die by tripping. And the death uh, thing could be like, bro, what shoes are you wearing? Or something like that. I feel like that would be jokes. Alright, let's go for the, for the big guy. This is actually, I'm speedrunning this. What the hell? This is freaking easier than a regular game. It's re really a struggle early on. But the second, like literally the second... You start getting a bunch of these instantly killer lead things. GG from there. It's just it's the big old GG. It isn't much they can do. Come on, 
ice ring, so I'm gonna get PTSD from this shit. I'm gonna hear an ice ring and I'm gonna like fucking shit my pants. That is so broken that those actually spawn a bunch of knives. Not because they're easy to do a hit by this guy, but. It's got a good way of farming them up. And the second something spawns, everything just dies. My teddy bear saved me. I actually did that as a child. I thought my teddy bear would save me from literally anything. But maybe that maybe that's just a kid thing. I actually don't think that's just on me. I think people that are watching can like relate to that. Like, you thought your teddy bear would Checks you from like anything. Oh, this way too big room. <laughs> it legit takes like 20 to 30 seconds to get out of it. I actually played with my friend the other day, we were playing this. Like, not, not with his mobs, but we were playing this game. Can he say the same thing? Like, it's literally not just me. Can people stop texting me? I forgot to put my phone to do not disturb. I'm sorry, guys. Well, uh, basically, I... Uh... What was I saying? This is why I don't record right after I've woken up, because my brain is not fully functioning yet. When it comes to talking, that is. Like, talking in general is really not my thing. Um, hey, here I am, making videos. Kind of jokes, to be honest. Freeze, don't move! Yeah, we basically were saying the same thing, like, the that corridor is so long, like, can't they just install some speed boost in it? Problem solved. That you do just get like 60% moment speed, 50% moment speed increase in that thing just so you can get through it faster. Because yes, that room, is, it feels like a boss fight and stuff like that, but once you've gone through there as many times as I have, it's just annoying than anything. Have this music that makes me sleepy. Uh, I'm just gonna go fire. Thing is, I'm a little scared of just having the washes as my main income of damage because they are so easy to lose, and if I lose them. Um, what do I have now? Literally no damage at all. Nice, yeah. Hmm. But I think six of them should be enough fire damage, right? Six of them should be enough, let's just say it is enough, even though I have no idea.
Thing is, if the boss manages to get me that low, I'm probably like it, it's probably not even gonna manage to get me to a point where I lose my watches and doesn't get one shot at it at the same time. So I think I'm just worrying for nothing because I feel like when I lose my watches, that's gonna be such a heavy blow that I'm dead anyway. I'm I'm just gone. One shot at disintegrated. Oh, I'm more greens. Game? There we go, that's green. Pretty musical, but all quiet. It was like everything a minute ago, and now it's just gone. They got tired of playing it for me. I said it made me tired, and I felt I was ungrateful. Technically, I could just fly up with this guy, when I think of it. I, I really don't need to charge these pillars at all, I could just fly up. Yeah, the music is back. Now, if my thing that sends me up flying didn't send me literally to space, I could have used that now and just kept going down slowly. Like, this works, this works. Trust. I'm doing it. Oh, that was literally last one. I thought I had one more. Oh yeah, I did the glass thing. I forgot about that. Oh, Alright, time to go for the boss. Just hope I destroy him. I feel like I should. Due to the lack of time, this is also the only attempt I have time for. So if I fail this, well then I'm just gonna have to try again. Maybe I should stick up a wheel and just put in all the artifacts and spin it a few times and you just have to decide what do I get. And then I'm gonna try and beat it. I feel like that could be fun. I'm actually gonna do that at some point. If I remember that is. Yeah, he is an elite, and that is an anti-healer. He's shielded and anti-healed. I don't like this. Although, he was really easy to kill. Okay, what the hell? Bro! Run into that. Thank you. He's stupid. Whee! That's not fair. Yeah! I thought you could freeze the boss. Alright, knives, do your thing. Thank you. Did you keep doing your thing? What the hell? Stop dodging! Bro, this is not Matrix. Alright, here we go. That was a little early. But it's okay. One is done. One is about to be done. Done. Alright, good. What actually happened there? It looked like the equipment that puts me on fire, as well as my enemies, that killed me. That was so... I'm actually gonna have to go back into recording later and see what actually happened. What the hell? Well, unfortunately, like I said, that was the only time I had it. It was a complete disaster. I'm gonna have to try and do this again. 
I'm gonna play someone else than this guy, and yes, I will be stacking greens. That's the only way I think I'm gonna be able to beat this. So I still f how did I? Sorry, I'm kind of flabbergasted. What the hell? Yeah, but anyway, thank you all so much for watching. You guys are amazing, and uh, maybe you would consider subscribing and giving this video a like. It only takes a few seconds of your time. And it helps me out tremendously and subscribing is completely free and you can always change your mind whenever you want. And don't forget this, to hit this little notification bell right next to it. So you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Because apparently YouTube don't think that it should originally start on getting all notifications from this YouTuber. It just starts with, like, the, you get some. I wouldn't exactly call myself a YouTuber though, I'm kind of just doing this as a side fun thing. But thank you all so much for watching, and I hope I see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.